During a Helen's Association for Persons with Disabilities press conference, several parents of children with autism gave testimonials of the challenges they face with the education system and the society. This mother says that her son has to repeat preschool because he was not ready to advance to the next level. She alleges that her son's school would not re-enroll him and she was forced to find another school which claimed to be inclusive. However, she says her son was expelled allegedly due to his autism. School started on Monday, 2nd September, and like most children on the island, it was my son's first day of school. By midday on Wednesday, September 4th, I got a call from the administrator who was requesting a sit-down meeting with me to determine the way forward because some of the behaviors that my son was presenting was not anticipated, her words. So long story short, and I could choose to sugarcoat it, but the fact is my son was expelled from preschool after three days, right? And it is not an isolated incident. Another mother claims her five-year-old autistic daughter is attending a special ed school in Viewfort. However, she says dietary restrictions in the school have proven to be a challenge. From the time that my daughter has been at school, I have had to sit with teachers and administrators and explain what autism is and how it's a sensory processing disorder, which comes with food aversions. Um, our children don't eat like neurotypical children. Um, they eat with their eyes, how our food looks, how our food smells, how our food tastes, how our food feels. And uh, I have had to fight that battle at every school because not all our children eat fruits, not all our children eat healthy. And it is not for lack of trying as a parent. Um, it is something that we face judgment for. Several other stories were shared during the press conference, with parents calling upon the Ministry of Education and other relevant authorities to create inclusive spaces, raise public awareness, and refine the curriculums and infrastructure for their children. Dr. Kim Gardner Sadu, director of the Child Development and Guidance Center, says there has been a significant increase in the number of children diagnosed with autism, according to statistics from the organization. For every girl diagnosed with autism, she says there are three boys. Roughly, out of every 60 babies that are born, she says one will have autism. To date, today we have 170 children age five and under with autism, um, currently accessing services at the center. Um, in terms of total numbers in the last five years, we have given a, a diagnosis to 320 children. So in the last five years, 320 children have received the diagnosis. And for the five year period prior to that, 60 had received um, diagnosis. A special ed teacher in the Castries Anglican Infant School says children with autism are welcomed. However, she says more support is needed. But from a teacher's point of view, we'd like trained teacher aides. Um, we'd also like training for our teachers. And at every school, we'd like a safe space that is equipped, especially for when the children have sensory process processing disorders, or a safe space that they can feel comfortable and that can soothe them when they're having meltdowns or tantrums. A representative from the Special Ed Office in the Ministry of Education says there is a lot to be desired when it comes to resources and training to support children with disabilities. One of the specific needs is more training and awareness when it comes to autism and the approach to autism. The representative says that even those within the education sector are nowhere near the mark when it comes to supporting children with autism. Sol EC Limited will be supporting Helen's Association for Persons with Disabilities and presented a check of $5,000. Sol EC Limited is a leader in the energy sector in St. Lucia, and we are proud to announce a significant donation to um, the Harper Helen Association for Persons with Autism. Our contribution today reflects our ongoing commitment to fostering inclusivity and creating equal opportunities for children with autism, helping them reach their full potential and play a meaningful role in society. This partnership in the first instance will be for three years. 
For the DBS News World, Miriam Montoot reporting.